I have said it time and time again, guys. If you're not prepared now, get prepared. Time is of the essence. Everything that you know is changing as we speak. World War III, Civil War possibly in the works, and more civil unrest. Get prepared now. Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Welcome back to Janet Exploration Discovery, everybody. I'm Jared, the Janet Jan Arms. Today's video, again, civil unrest, guys. And think it can't happen in your country? Think it can't happen here in the United States? Well, it can. And honestly, it's happening as we speak. They're carrying stuff out of the shops in California. And if they steal under $1,000, then charges can't be brought against them. This reminds me of a story of a place I used to work. And a security officer at that place which was actually a cop in his everyday job, but he's a security officer at this place, and they had to be post-certified. So they had their powers of arrest and everything. He chased down a guy that had stolen around $300 for the stuff out of the shops at this place, chased him down, tackled him to the ground, and the people up in the top asked him, how could he be so stupid as to do that? And he said, I'm a policeman, it's in my nature. And he got brought up for that, for actually going and apprehending somebody at this place. Now, I'm not in California. This didn't happen in California. It happened here in Missouri. But that was just one example of things that are out of hand. And when asked why they weren't going to press charges on the guy, well, he didn't steal enough stuff. We're not going to press charges on him unless he steals at least $750, $800 against the business, and he didn't steal enough. And that just sounds insane to me, guys. But that is the world that we live in right now and things are just going to continue to get crazier hate to say it but things are just going to continue to get crazier as we're speaking right now things are happening things are still shifting on the world stage world war three is a guarantee at this point it's going to happen russia says that we're already in world war three and honestly i kind of tend to believe them at this point because we're fighting a war by proxy in ukraine and the the, the united states has been everybody's enforcers for so long that we are involved in way more stuff and it continues to grow as we go and we get involved in everybody else's affairs. That's just the way the United States has been and we have been the world enforcers, so to speak, the babysitters of the world, going in and helping out other countries. Well, have you ever asked yourself if, it, if any of these other countries would come help us if we were in distress and... You ask yourself that question, really think about it, because I think you'll find the answer somewhere in there. Now, <clears throat> things are shifting on the world stage still as I speak. you got Russia and China and North Korea and all of them on one side, and then you have the West, us, France, Britain, all of us, all of our allies. Now, the thing that you really got to thing about though too is guys with the technology that they have today they have the ability to reach so much further and honestly we won't be able to keep the war off of u.s soil this time it's just the way that's going to be because there's just too much technology and there's too much at stake during a world war conflict that isn't going to end well for any country because the life loss will just be out of this world because the weapons are just so much more advanced. We have nuclear weapons. Everybody always says, well, the nuclear weapons. A thought process that a lot of people go in on the nuclear weapon side is, is that if one person fires them, then everybody else is going to fire them, and then everybody's just going to be gone. But I don't think a lot of people understand how nukes actually work. If just one nuke went off, then it's not the end of the world. People act like if just one nuke hits a country, then it's just completely done. And that's not the way that that works at all. Look at the bombs that got dropped on Japan during the Second World War. There's people inhabiting those cities and living there now. Now, the radiation levels, mind you, are going to be ginormous. It's going to take a while before you can re-inhabit that and everything. And yes, bunkers are your best chances of survival. But how many people can honestly afford a bunker? 
if you have a bunker good on you if you're building one right now good on you if you can afford to have one done i recommend you start doing that now and a lot of people think about bunkers for just being in this horrible event such as a nuclear holocaust or an event like that well they're for so much more than that they are for they can double as a storm shelter they can do all kinds of other things guys you've just got to be able to use what you can and honestly if you're not preparing already i don't know where you've been but you, you need to start preparing now it's not too late, but soon it will be too late, guys. You've got to start preparing now because world conflicts are coming. The you got to think about this. The longest that the average empire lasts is 250 years. We're 249. May as well just say we're in 249 right now of the United States as an empire. Think about it. Every great empire is going to fall. That is the guarantee throughout history. Every great empire is going to fall. Now, how far? You never know how far the, that empire is going to fall. But every country, every empire, whatever you want to refer to it as, has its time and place in history that they're at the top. But the constant is they will always come tumbling down. That's how come they have the statistic after 250 years that they fall. Now, they may not he totally collapse like what's being talked about. But they will fall down substantially. They will be in disrepair and there'll be crime waves and it won't be the same way that it is right now. You're not going to be able to go down to McDonald's and get your Big Mac. You're not going to be able to go out and get your board of coffee at Starbucks. Your primary concern is going to be trying to survive and trying to live in a society collapsing situation. Your money is going to be useless. You're going to have to rely on the people around you, which is something people these days just can't seem to do. That They can't seem to come together. Everybody's so self-centered. Something that, guys, you've got to stop being so self-centered. You've got to be able to trust some people around you. And you may be the type of person that doesn't trust anybody. That ain't the way to be. You've got to be the type of person that can trust people. You've got to be the type of person who can get out there and actually do stuff and develop your skill sets. I don't care if it's just going outside and throwing some seeds in the ground and trying to grow plants. That is working towards developing your skill sets in gardening. That is working towards your skill sets in other ways. If you're a hunter who doesn't even gut his own deer, then go out there and this season, go out there and gut your own deer and try to learn how to process it. If you don't know, if you don't trust yourself enough to try to learn off of YouTube, then go out there and have somebody, there's plenty of people around that can teach you how to process your own deer because you're going to want to be able to do it on your own without having to rely on a butcher shop because they won't be available people think about chaos think about like what the civil war was and anybody that has ever seen any documentaries on countries that have had civil wars global collapse in the modern era the devastation is just out of this world and people are so divided right now that a civil war might happen it may not happen that one's kind of in the balance of what i remember a lot of people are saying that we're going to have a civil war no matter what some people are just kind of i'm kind of in between it's like it depends on how things go but in this civil war though it won't be the north versus south or this side versus this side it's going to be more like a free-for-all there won't be no uniforms dividing sides there will be no border lines saying that okay we're not going to fight here. This is neutral territory. We're not going to fight each other here and here and here. It's just going to be a free-for-all. In other words, it's going to be an absolute shit show. Any way that you look at it. Any way that you go across the board. It's just going to be devastation and horrible. A lot of you are out there who are probably watching this are thinking, what the heck does this have to do with anything? Because you live in la-la land. You don't live in the reality of what's happening around you, guys. You've got to be alert to what's happening around you and what do i mean by this yes pay attention to world events pay attention to that's what's happening put it together get around people who actually know what's going on but also be visually aware whenever you're out in public take the headphones out of your ears don't have them in your ears clogging your ears if you're out there in big crowds this is how people seriously guys this is how people get murdered is they go out there and they 
have their headphones in, they're walking down a dark alley, or they go to a new place, they get drunk, and they wander off down the streets, and there's nobody with them, and people just take advantage of that, because they can see that you're, like, not right, you're stumbling around, or you got your headphones in, and you're not being vigilant, and all they have to do is try to say something to you, and if you don't respond, then boom, they know that you have your headphones or something in, and you're not paying attention to what they're saying, so be vigilant, guys, keep your headphones out, they're fine if you're on a car ride, going on vacation or something, do not have them in, though, if you're in a public place, period. There's too many things that's been happening, too many things going on. There's people down here in town the, the, the other day, I said the other day, it was a couple months back, getting stabbed by a knife-wielding maniac that was just going all kinds of crazy, I guess, targeting random people doing that. There was another deal over here. A cop got shot in the back because he got called to a gas station uh, about a disturbance. Another gas station down the road over here actually got robbed the other day. I mean, guys, you've got to be vigilant of what's going on around you. I know you, you may think, well, I've been here a hundred times. All it takes is a hundred and one and the wrong people being in there. Seriously, you've got to stay alert of what's going on around you. And it's stay alert. Staying alert not only stops there, but it goes so much further into just being able to pay attention to everything that's going on around you. Even if it's not happening right in front of you, you've got to be able to pay attention, got to be prepared for things. You've got to listen to what's going on and visually observe and make your own conclusions instead of just believing everything that you hear. This all comes into observing what's going on around you guys, but you've got to be able to survive. That's the big thing. Survival of the fittest is a real deal. You have got to be able to survive. And this is the main thing. I've been trying to get you guys in this spot set here. And trying to get you guys to wake up to this reality of not everything is peachy keen. A lot of Americans live in this mindset of I'm going to go to work, get my coffee, come back, home, do it all again the next day. Da, 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 da. I'm going to eat out. I'm going to eat out every day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But they don't actually have any practical skills. A lot of people work office jobs. And even if you work a job where you work with your hands and stuff, though, chances are you still don't have any skills. You've got to develop these skills, guys. You've got to be able to do things to survive. Because you've got to think about a world to where you have to live out in the woods. All you have is what you have. And you're not going to survive solely on supplies. You've got to be able to be able to manufacture things the best you can. You gotta be able to hunt. You gotta be able to go out and you've got to be able to fetch water every day and you gotta be able to do all this stuff. But nobody's gonna survive on their own. This is something that people need to get out of their heads. There's no such thing as a Rambo. Nobody is a Rambo that can do everything on their own. I don't care how bad you think you are, you're not a Rambo that can do everything on his own. You need a team around you, those guys, talking about the Green Berets, the Seals, or whoever. They got a huge network supporting them, and that's what makes them as good as they are. They are very good, and they're highly trained, but the network around them makes them even far superior beyond that. They are the tip of the spear, but everybody else is backing them. That's what you need. You need a community around you in a situation to where society has collapsed that can support you, people that you can trust. And if you can't trust the guys, and I've made an entire video on signs of people that you shouldn't trust, go back on this channel and watch it. There's a lot of advice I gave you guys in that video of telltale signs. It's not always so obvious, but a lot of people you can tell right away if you can trust them. If you can't trust them with small things now, how you'd be able to trust them when your life is on the line in a situation like that, guys? Seriously, really think about that. If you can't trust them to do it now, and it could be as simple as somebody says that they're going to come help you, and then they don't, and they give you some excuse, but then you drive by it, and they're still at their house, and they've never left. Or they lie to you, and they gave an excuse, and then you go and you see them out in the store with some other friend of theirs that you know, because you also know that person, but they refuse to come help you because... They were hanging out with them. I mean, small things like that start adding up, guys. Things to pay attention. Now, I'm not saying that every cancellation is a bad thing. People do have stuff come up, but if you see stuff like that, and they're supposed to come help you with something or something, and then they, the, the better they go out and do that, it's not something that you can depend on. So, 
You got to think about the people around you and start forming that community now if you can. And don't tell everybody what you have. This is a big mistake I see a lot of preppers make. They broadcast everything that they have, guys. Do not tell anybody what you have. Don't tell anybody everything that you have anyway. It's okay if you show some friends this or that, but don't tell anybody the full lengths of what you have. They don't need to know. And if the day comes and it's more of a when this day comes when shit it's the fan they're gonna come and they're going to try to take your stuff from you because they know that you got it because there are bad people out there with bad intentions for you i guarantee you that there's people in your own friend groups that have bad intentions for you they'll do everything they can to tear you down i work with people like this to try to portray themselves as friends but they work in the shadows they're trying to tear you down they're trying to destroy you because people are envious of you in some way. I can guarantee it. And hate to break it to you, but the people in your friend groups right now, I can guarantee you that 99% of them, or possibly 100% of them, every one of them in some way despises you in some way because either you're better than them at something, or you dress better than they do, or you just handle things better than they do because people get envious of everything. They get green with envy. They do not care about you. They just want to feel superior to somebody, and that is the thing. People want to feel superior to everybody. So watch out for these people in your group, though, guys, and don't let these people in your group. And there's a lot of telltale signs. Again, guys, go back and watch the video I posted on this, Snakes in the Grass. It really tells the all telltale signs of the majority of what the people you can trust, the people that you can't trust. So guys, with all that being said, I know I covered a lot in this video, but you've got to start getting alert now. You've got to start getting into this mindset now of you're going to have to be able to do for, for years and your own and you aren't going to be able to depend on anything. You're not going to be able to depend on the grocery store or the system. Start getting in that way of thinking now because I guarantee you guys that day is coming a lot sooner than what you think and it may be five years away, it may be ten years away, but that's really not that far away even at that point. I hope it never happens in our lifetime. I hope it never happens at all, guys. But you cannot ignore the statistics. 250 years is all that every great empire has lasted. That's the statistic, and you got to go by it because history repeats itself. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with Inspiration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.